contestants earn style points for their fashion sensibility, and creativity comes into play as they, as their guests receive a personal and meaningful gift from their very own Mr. Juniata. Scores from the first two rounds are taken into account, and a top tier of three contestants will be vying to be the to be chosen as the campus-wide man of mystery. With little preparation, our contestants will be asked to respond to previously unknown questions with diplomacy, grace, and humor. Now, it's time to get ready for our talent section! We are starting with Kei Takahashi. Kei is a sophomore from Mimi Miyashigara, Kanagawa, Japan studying international political economy. On campus, he works at the Center for International Education and the Office of Community Engagement, is the Transportation Coordinator for Language in Motion, is a peer mentor, was an inbound leader, was a global guide for orientation, is a part of the Gambian Art Collection, plays drums in the Juniata Pep Band, and is the treasurer of the Breakdance Club. I'm exhausted just reading it. Okay. for the Huntingdon House. Kay's spy accessory would be his green Crocs, of course. And if Kay were a spy, he would be one from the Japanese government coming to Juniata for a study on American college students. Um, he might be doing that now, so uh, just be careful. Without further ado,
drummer, so I'm pretty fascinated by great drummers, but one thing I definitely know my brother cannot do is a backflip. So yes, that was fantastic. Thank you, Kay. Next, we have Silas Barr. Silas is a freshman from Claysburg, Pennsylvania, studying computer science. On campus, he is part of the rugby team. Silas will be competing for Toys for Tots. Silas's spy accessory would be a cool umbrella because you could do a lot with them. Silas's go-to karaoke song is Piano Man because he knows all of the words. Even with this, he seems to be a man of few words usually. Let's give it up for Silas! What up, Juniata? Louise. Well, this will be great fun, don't you think? You know what I'm going to do for you? A magic trick. Because yeah. everyone loves a good magic trick. Now, of course, I can't do a magic trick on myself. So I think I'll have my, our great and uh, joyous host. <laughs> Thank you. 
one of my favorite jazz standards, and it's called Besame Mucho, which means kiss me a lot. Um, but if you see Pete on campus, please do not do that without their permission. Thank you. Next, we have Hayden Thompson. Hayden is a junior from Whitmer, Pennsylvania, studying politics with a secondary emphasis in history. On campus, they are involved in mock trial, the women's soccer team, and work at the library. Hayden will be competing for the Trevor Project. Hayden's spy accessory would be a spy car, but the type of car that Mr. Incredible drives. It would work as a regular car, but at the press of the button, it would become a spy car with all the best accessories. Now here's the kicker. Hayden's go-to karaoke song is Love Story by Taylor Swift. It's a timeless classic and is so fun to sing and has a special place in Hayden's heart. Whenever a Taylor Swift song is referred to as a classic, it makes me feel like I am eligible for retirement. <laughs> Hayden, interesting karaoke choice. Let's give it up for Hayden. Hi everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? That's great. Um, so it is ironic that my karaoke song of choice is Love Story because tonight I will be singing All Too Well by Taylor Swift. Accompanied by Steph, my uh, page turner. So please give it up for her as well. Thank you.
keep my own scarf from that very first week Cause it reminds you of innocence And it smells like me You can't get rid of it Cause you remember it all too well Yeah activities list. Of course, you're going to start with your small bag where all of your delicious ice cream ingredients will go. This is some half and half. <laughs> like all bad chemists, we're not going to measure anything tonight because all good cooks have instincts. <laughs> Looks pretty tasty to me, doesn't it? <laughs> this is milk, courtesy of Baker. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> of course you need to flavor your ice cream, because what's better than plain vanilla? Forgot my suspicious white powder. <laughs> and sugar. <laughs> now we're gonna seal her up so she doesn't spill. <laughs> Don't forget the large bag, because you gotta put this one in something. <laughs> Get that fake rock salt, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, a good shake. Oh, yeah. We're pretending that there's ice. <laughs> now we're going to put the small bag in the big bag and sip it. Now, while I was doing this talent earlier, um, I realized that I would actually never take the effort to go through that and shake it for five to ten minutes for it to harden up. So my mom took me to Walmart. <laughs> and she got me my favorite vegan ice cream. <laughs> Shout out, no sponsor, to the So Delicious Salted Caramel Cluster Cashew Milk. Personal shout out to Sonia uh, and Baker who hooked me up with the milk because she's awesome. in the green room. How about that? <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. Next we have Eric Socio. Eric is a sophomore from Latrobe, Pennsylvania, studying marketing with a secondary emphasis in communications. On campus, he is on the baseball team and is a tour guide. Eric will be competing for the Wounded Warrior Project. Eric's Spy accessory would be a spy car because James Bond has a nice Aston Martin and Aston Martins are cool. <laughs> Eric's go-to karaoke. <laughs> Sorry, this is funny. <laughs> Eric's go-to karaoke. <laughs> Let me try this again. I did not do this in rehearsal. I'm so sorry. Eric's go-to karaoke song is Temper. <laughs> he loves Kesha. He loves Pitbull, <laughs> and he likes tree. <laughs> it will always go down, and he will always yell temper. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I lost it. Okay, help me welcome Eric to the stage. Hi, I'm Rohan. 
I wouldn't be here if someone else hadn't passed on the opportunity to be on Mr. Juniata. So, special thanks to Ishiyami for this opportunity. I can break your heart with a work of art and a song that's quiet and small. But you can tell that I can sing. This guitar is just a pro. So I guess I'll just talk. Hi, my name is Rohan Bandekar. Um, I can't sing. Uh, I'm, from, I'm from India. Um, has anybody been through India? If you have not, you must go because your dogs already have. Um, but I came to America um, three years ago. I got on a plane in Mumbai and I came to America. And at the time, I only knew America through like movies and TV shows where they only show you like New York and LA. I landed in State College. I was like, this is less cosmopolitan than what I was told America would be. <laughs> but that's okay. There are some buildings. <laughs> and then I got to Huntington. <laughs> And you definitely do not see places like this in the movies. But, you know what I miss the most? It's been three years, three and a half years. I don't miss my family, I don't miss my friends, I don't miss my life. I, I miss... I miss spices. Because a life without spices is so hard. So hard. That it made white people sail around the world to find it. regular sailing. This wasn't like a Disney cruise, right? Like, this was a time when people believed that if they went that way, they would fall off the edge of the earth and die. Yet some guy out there was eating his, like, mashed potatoes and he was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm going that way. That was Columbus, by the way. But it's not all bad. I love being in America. Not for college, for breakfast. This is the greatest achievement in America that no one talks about. Y'all have done things with breakfast, with breakfast cereal that bring tears to the eyes of immigrant children. I come, I come from a universe of cornflakes. Cornflakes has three active ingredients. Corn, flakes, and sadness. And then you come to America and there's like ch ch Lucky Charms and Chocolate Draculas and Leprechauns and... Ah, because think about it, what was, what was the concept of cereal? Right? It was get milk into children. Make milk interesting for children. What God did with breasts, America did with breakfast cereal. Okay? But, but I went to the supermarket the other day. You have an aisle for cereal? You have an aisle. Y'all are complaining about a precedent? You have an aisle for cereal? It's 60 feet by 10 feet. That's, that's 600 feet. That's a school. Speaking of schools, <clears throat> what about the one we go to? It's nice. We love the food. <clears throat> I'm gonna sing a song about it, even though I'm terrible at singing. Here we go. I go to school in the middle of nowhere, Central PA. I wish everywhere we love this place. It's called Julia. We all came here cause they gave us money A little too much And now we're all stuck here Let's go again I go to school in the middle of nowhere Central PA All this heavy love This place is called Julia We're all a little way, a little, little funny We all came here cause they gave us money a little too much And now we're all stuck here guitar playing, there was the reference of breakfast cereal and anatomy, there's just so many things I can say about it. 
<laughs> so finally, last but certainly not least, we have Gavin Jackson. Gavin is a first year student from Ocean City, New Jersey, studying biochemistry. On campus, he is on the lacrosse team and is a part of student government. Gavin will be competing for the New Jersey Center for Tourette Syndrome. Gavin's spy accessory would be a watch that has a laser so that he can cut through walls and other objects. On a scale of 1 to 10, Gavin would give himself a 10 out of 10 of being able to complete a, se a secret mission without being caught. He has played a lot of Rainbow Six, I have no idea what that is, and roamed while on defense. Somebody knows what that means, so please laugh uncomfortably. Thank you. All right, so let's give it up for Gavin! I'm singing in the land, you singing in the rain. Feel and I'm happy again. Just singing, singing in the rain. Uh -huh.
Sammy is a sophomore from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, studying biopsychology with secondary emphases in chemistry, Spanish, and linguistics. Okay, um, my name is Tay. You know that, right? Okay. Um, my escort, her name is Sammy. She is the president of class of 2024. And yeah, she does a lot of things on campus. She's in the Lacroix team, and she's very friendly. She has so many friends, and yeah, so, yeah, doing a lot of things on campus. I know how hard it is because I do a lot of things on campus, yeah, like, so it's really stressful, but at the same time, like, I can do this because, because I have a lot of friends, and I love talking with friends, and I want tonight, I want her to know that we're here together for her, and so I decided to sing a song for her. This is one of my favorite songs. Um, it's it's really like you know cheering song. It's called uh, Carry On by Fun. If you're lost and alone, are you sinking like a stone? Forget Pete now walks out with friend Tatum Gramley. Tatum 
Tatum is a senior from Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania, studying biology and psychology. Yes, Tatum! Tatum, I didn't get you anything. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> no, just kidding, just kidding. So, uh, Tatum and I really like antique jewelry. Uh, as you can see, got some pearls on my neck. And, uh, you know, it's our hobby to go to like antique stores together. And so I found one that she's never been to before, and she's looking for a choker necklace. Uh, I think they look cool. And so, you know, I got her one. Uh, it's like 14 inches long, so I think that's the size that she was looking for. Hopefully it fits, but yeah. Landon is stepping out with best friend Julia Young. Julia is a junior from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, studying environmental science with a secondary emphasis in museum studies. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is Julia. She's pretty dope, if you ask me. And she's got really nice hair. I wrap this with love. I can yeah, he looks like a flower. You can just take it. <laughs> yeah, pet ban. It's for pet ban. Okay, so a little explanation. There was a mysterious night last semester where um, Julia's queso went missing, and now uh, we can't figure out who took it. No clue. So I bought you some new queso. Okay, I have a thing with squishmallows, but apparently not everyone's thing is squishmallows and some people like jelly cats. So I got her a little lamb. And if you ever see Julia's hairstyles, you should get on her trends. So I got you some headband bandanas because you wear bandanas on your head. <laughs> so Merry Christmas. and stuff like that. Uh, we also sold bananas out on the quad some one day. We're very obnoxious with our marketing. Uh, so, since freshman year, the one friend that I've had who supported me throughout my entire journey is, is Daniel. And this is one time, freshman year, uh, I had a roommate. Doesn't go here anymore. It wasn't great. Uh, the room was always a mess. Uh, over fall break, this guy stayed back and helped me clean the entire room. Like, we like, we like deep cleaned it. There was like lasagna on the top of the microwave. Right? And, and, and like, like, he just did it. Like, he was like, oh, God. I'm like, what? Um, and he supported me throughout my time here at Junie Adam. He's <clears throat> always been my biggest fan. Um, but he doesn't know that I am a bigger fan of him because he's such a great friend. Um, which is why. That's a tablecloth, which is why I got him a nice Holmes fan. It's not the biggest one I have, but I'm the biggest fan. Eric is accompanied by the Drummond Girls. entrepreneurial studies and Kelly is a freshman from Lancaster PA who is exploratory. Hello everybody, I wanted to thank Miss Beautiful Abby Drummond and Miss Beautiful Kelly Ann Drummond for escorting me out. Um, I was a little nervous at first to ask them but apparently they weren't too embarrassed to walk me out. Um, I also want to shout out Abby's boyfriend Jack DeVidio for, for letting her escort me tonight. <laughs> Yeah, so tonight, to honor their beauty, I got them both beautiful bouquets. One for Kellyanne, one for Abby. I just want to thank you two so much for doing this for me. Thank you, everybody. Hayden now enters with friend Alex 
Alex Shaw. Alex is a junior from Warminster, PA, studying psychology. Hi, everyone. Um, so, I gotta set the back down. Um, so I got you two things, actually. I told you this earlier. I couldn't decide on what to get you. I'm um, sorry, I got you two mop. <laughs> and one of them says, caffeine is my valentine, and then you can read what the other one says. Um, yeah, yeah, you can read it. Okay, hi everybody. Vote for Hayden. Um, as soon as the rush is over, I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. I owe it to myself. I worked for it, and nobody's going to deprive me. Thank you, that was beautiful. But wait, wait, hold your applause, please. But wait, there's more. Hayden now enters with friend Allison Helferty. Allison is a junior from Lafayette Hill, Pennsylvania, studying physics. Um, so this is my second escort, Allison. And Allison, I have more for you, but I just could only fit one in the bag. I got you seltzer water. Um, <laughs> Allison. Um, Allison and I... <laughs> Allison and I... <laughs> Allison and I like to hang out and do homework, and um, I always feel bad because I usually drain her last seltzer water. So, um, I got you that one. <laughs> but, no, you can have the full box, it's in my car. <laughs> but wait, wait, wait! wait. If you order now, you get a third escort. He now enters with Jack Salazar. Jack is a junior from San Jose, California, studying professional writing in English and Spanish. Um, so I was, I was having a hard time figuring out what I wanted to get for you, and then I stumbled upon one of your tweets where you said you could not wait to travel back to California to get some pomegranates. So what did I do? Hold on, I bought not one pomegranate, but two pomegranates for you. So, yes, thank you, thank you. And finally, we have Gavin, who brings friend Devin Cauldron. Devin is a first year student from North Baton Rouge, Louisiana, studying history, secondary education. Um, so this is my friend Devin. Me and him met when we um, were both in the Sherwood Lounge listening to Young Boy's album that just dropped. And um, so I had a hard time figuring out what to get get what to get Devin as a gift. And I was like, wait, he plays baseball. I can't get him a baseball bat because he's a pitcher. He can't hit the ball to save his life. I got him a brand new baseball glove. There you go. Thank you very much, Dad. Let's have a round of applause for all of these lovely escorts. Thank you for joining us on stage today. You may have a seat. Now, without further ado, the contestants will be showing off their style. Give it up for your contestants.
classic gray suit with the uh, burgundy tie and of course that's my accessory. Those gray Crocs, he's almost looking like Christmas. What <laughs> tuxedo vibes with the shiny shoe and the hair that can be swished back and forth. Let's give it up for Silas! <laughs> then we have Pete Cruzy giving us um, Suburban Housewife on top and Stylish Model on the bottom and the walk. You can't forget the walk. Thank you, Pete! <laughs> Landon is giving us the Doc Martin Look, don't forget that the threads in the Doc Martin are what make the difference. So let's give it up for Landon! <laughs> Rohan is on his way to the Grammys with the Paisley look, but it is not because of his singing. So let's give it up for Rohan! <laughs> Eric is giving us the I wish I were taller so I could be LeBron.
you don't mind. So, in no particular order, here are your three finalists for Mr. Juniata 2021. Please step forward when you hear your name called. Hey, Takahashi! something, uh, it would be uh, solving the problem of climate change. Uh, I know things are looking not good right now, like we're, we're screwed. But um, I really, 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 really have hope and uh, I, I really want to study uh, geology and political science and economics and anything that will help me fight climate change uh, and kind of make change in the world to make the world a better place. I know it's cliche, uh, but yes, I would study those subjects. Thank you. Thank you, Rohan. Okay, Landon and Kay, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Here we go, ready, and rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, okay, here we go, Landon. It's your question. Okay, thank you very much. Um, by the way, my answer to that question is I would have studied underwater basket weaving. <laughs> if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live and why? Solid question. <laughs> so, some of you may or may not know, I was actually born in Honolulu, Hawaii. And uh, my dad was in the army, that's why we had to travel a lot. But I have not yet gotten to travel back to my birthplace. Uh, born in a pink hospital, uh, explains a lot about my personality. <laughs> but if I could live anywhere, I would probably choose that place. Because many of you also know that my dream career would be owning a burrito and sushi shack on the beach. Shout out to my computer science project for last year, last semester. Um, but then I would be able to accomplish all my life goals, learn how to surf maybe, and uh, you know, go back and learn about the place where I was born. Thank you. Burritos and sushi. Burritos. Sushi Ritos. Wow. I have a website. 
about them. I, I can't wait to see this because there's so many questions I have in my head as a result. I will answer all of them. Thank I will you. give you a presentation <laughs> on my Sushi Rita website. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. All right. Ah, okay, okay. Last but not least, here's your question. If I can get it open, here we go. In a biographical movie about you, who would play the part of you and why? Okay, um, my question would be, uh, myself, because, yeah, like, this is one of my, like, life philosophies, but, um, I'm always thinking that, like, my life is, like, a movie, and so, that means, like, this makes me sometimes, like, too dramatic, and, like, sometimes I make people annoyed by this, but, but, I think, you know, no one can be you, and so, and like, one thing, like, the most important thing that I learned since I came to the U.S. is that no one can make you happy. Um, this sounds like pessimis pessimistic, but I, like, the, this means like, your happiness should come from inside of yourself. Yeah, and then I've been trying so much these days. Uh, it's really, it's been so hard, but I try to, you know, take care of myself. And so the answer is, yeah, myself. And yeah, I, I have so many difficulties here. I have struck, uh, I've been struggling with a lot of things. But like, you know, I appreciate that my mom and my mom, my my mom and dad met, and then like I came to this world, and you know. I love my life. Yeah. I just have one additional question. Would you perform your own stunts? <laughs> yes, of course. No one can be like energetic as energetic as me. So. That is very true. So there their scores and as they do this please welcome Tori Weiser and Sydney Scherer co-captains of Kickline and organizers of tonight's event. Sellers Battle and our five, yeah, let's hear it for Crystal. As well as our five judges, Amy Fraser Yoder, Dan Dries, Lee Shen, Jaron Jeffries, and Sorry. Sadiq Smouse. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> and we have some more th people to thank too. A big thank you to Jesse Sullivan, Yitz Zirkel, and their crew, the Office of Campus Life, Lori Scheidler, now Puglisi, the wonderful facilities crew, and the members of Kickline and the video production team. Yeah. One more big thank you to John Yon and the Juniata Spring Eagles Pep Band for performing this evening. We are going to turn it back to them now as we get the final results from the judges. Stay tuned. Well, before you run off,
Look at speech. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> now it works. Holy cow.
and you all in the audience decided Mr. Popular by donating extra money towards a certain contestant. This year's Mr. Popular is Hayden Thompson! Now, if I could have our three finalists step forward. Don't be scared. <laughs> this year's Mr. Second Place is none other than Kei Takahashi! <laughs> and finally, this year's Mr. Juniata.